At the outset, I wish to commend Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the Government of India for entrusting to the spiritual leader, Mata Amrita Ananda Mai Devi, the chair of Civil 20 or C20, an official engagement group of the G20. We are all aware of the great work that is being done in Amrita University with its lead role in the C20. I'm sure everyone in the country acknowledges Amma's exemplary leadership among civil society in the noble mission of service to humanity. Sri Kailas Satyarthi, Nobel Peace Laureate, has pointed out that this is the first time that C20 is driven by the core values of spirituality. He said, I quote, this is spirituality does not mean any religion. It is a driving force of the soul of universal humanity. This is precisely Amma's mission and should guide our global mission in the realization of all the SDGs. The theme chosen for the C20 Working Group Summit, education and digital transformation, and its sub-themes are all very relevant. But there's one theme that is particularly close to my heart, namely education for persons with disability. I therefore take this opportunity to make a special appeal for the more than one billion people worldwide, including an estimated 800 million in developing countries who experience some form of disability, according to the World Report on Disability by the World Bank and WHO. Persons with disabilities face stigma, discrimination, and exclusion from accessing jobs and services, and they consistently fall behind their non-disabled peers in development gains. It is not enough to describe them as differently able, and so on. The time has come to do something for them. I appeal to every one of you to think seriously about this and suggest the way forward. It is common knowledge that most persons with disabilities are taken care by civil society organizations rather than governmental agencies. In this context, another statement by Kailash Satyarthi comes to mind, and I quote, when I call you the leaders of civil society, you represent the voice of the voiceless people of the world. You represent the faces of the most invisible people of the world. You are the custodians of the collective conscience of all very ordinary people on this earth. You are the purpose of democracy and of court. 